Hello YouTube, today I'm back playing a second map of the Blood Harvest campaign. Getting close to the end of this campaign already, which is kind of cool. So today I'm going to talk about the Metro UI. And this is just based off the of last video when I was talking about the Xbox 360 when I first got it and talking about the NXC dash. So, Metro UI is just so you get a few tabs on the top and on the bottom you get tiles. And then you get like the games tab, and then you get like the play game you have in the disk drive, which is a small tile. And then you get another small tile for quick play. And then some for social, where you can get your friends and change your avatar and stuff. And some for games, you can access your video games and stuff like that. And some for music, where you can access music apps like iHeartRadio. And stuff like that. And there's like basic settings and stuff like that. And they're all pretty much have like six or seven tiles in each tab. And they're all like small and closer together. Kind of like a phone or a touchscreen based UI. No Microsoft's trying to have the uh, UI the same in all their other devices. The game on Windows 8 had a bunch of tiles too, but that didn't really last long. They went back to the classic desktop. Yeah, I really didn't, wasn't a big fan of Windows 8 UI either. I think those tiles were looked kind of weird for a computer layout. I think they should stick those tiles on a tablet, not on a desktop. They're not made for desktop feel. They had like full screen applications, like they would show up on a tablet or an iPhone or something like that. It's just not again not a good look for a desktop. I like I prefer windows and borders and stuff like that. And old classic icons on the desktop, not those big tiles. Really didn't like those tiles on Windows 8. Yeah, you no. Know, Windows 8.1 they reintroduced the start button, but it still wants a stupid UI interface. And eventually Windows 10 came out and they combined the original start menu with the new Metro UI start menu, which is pretty nice. Now the default startup is to the desktop, but not to that stupid start screen that Windows 8.1 had with all the tiles. And they had like, stuff like the letter app and stuff like that. I mean, you can just go on a web browser and look that stuff up. Why would you want to go on an app on your computer? Do most of that stuff in the web browser. Almost got disappeared. Thought I heard a hunter there for a second. Yeah, I'm glad Windows 10 came out and has that uh, layout. I think I like Windows 10 better than Windows 8, but Windows 7 will forever be my favorite OS of all time. Those classic taskbar, the big taskbar with the arrow user interface, translucent taskbar, translucent windows. And I really love Windows 7, it's such a good operating system. And they should remake, like, if they ever make a Windows 12, they should, like, look, make it look like Windows 7. And, like, kind of mix it in with the uh, modern day interface, that'd be really cool. Boy. We go this way? Oh my god. Why would they spawn the witch near the safe house like that? That's just terrible. But yeah, they should make a, another version of Windows that looks like Windows 7. Like, make an arrow glass interface, like they did back in the day. Translucent windows, translucent taskbar, but with new features for 2025 or whenever they want to make a Windows 12. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hell yeah. And please remember to follow my links down below in the description. See you guys later.